welcome back everyone so today i will be talking about the new windows 11 23h2 that is the ghost spectre the lightest windows 11 in 2024 now why i'm saying the lightest because if you will check the cpu and the memory usage you will find that there will be a very low utilization of both cpu and the memory usage even if you check the processes the thread handle it will be quite low as compared to the regular windows 11 and due to which you will be getting the high fps if you do the gaming on your computer and even there will not be any kind of lagging or the stuttering problem now part of this there are many other additional options that you get like if you make a right click on your desktop you will find a new option by the name ghost mode and if you hover upon it you get power option that give you power saver balanced high performance game turbo and the dynamic boost now part of that you get task manager and the reduce memory so anytime when you have the high memory usage problem then you can click on this reduce memory and the memory will be reduced a part of that you get the god mode the cleanup temporary file that what we will be discussing when we will install it okay so right now i'm on my regular windows 11 and first if i bring up the task manager and go to the performance tab so you can see the utilization of the cpu is around 15 to 20 percent the processes is around 137 threads are around 1500 and handle are around 58000 so just make a note of it because by the end of this video i will show you the comparison between both the operating system okay so now let's see that how you have to install the ghost Spectre windows 11 23 h2 so you will be getting a link in the description you will have to come to this website and from the left hand menu option you have to click on download the downloading will be started and you can see it's around 4.3 gigabyte so it may take some time and once it get downloaded you have to open another website that will be rufus again you will be getting this link in the description now this tool will helping us to create a bootable usb of this ghost respecter windows 11 now if you want you can also install without using any kind of bootable usb but that method sometime it doesn't work so i would recommend you that go with this method only so once you come to this Rufus website, you have to scroll down and you have to click on Rufus 4.4.exe and the file will be quickly downloaded. Now once it get downloaded, you have to click on it. Click on yes. If it says do you want to allow Rufus to check for application update online, then you have to click on yes. And this kind of dashboard of Rufus will be coming up. So now make sure that you have connected your USB drive, your pen drive and once you connect it in the device section it will automatically detect it if not then click on the drop down and make sure that right usb has been selected now below it says board selection where you have to select the ghost respecter iso so now we can go back to the download section where we downloaded the file and you can see the file has been downloaded but now you can see that it's coming up without any kind of extension so what you have to do here you need to make a right click on it then click on rename and after dot you have to remove wpe64 and type zip then click on yes and now you can see that it's been converted to a zip file so now what you have to do next you need to extract the file from this folder so right click on it now if you click on extract all that is the default windows 11 feature many time it doesn't work so i would recommend you to go with the winrar if you are not using the WinRAR, then you can go with the WinZip. And if you don't have both of them, then you can go and download it. So hover up to WinRAR, click on Extract File. And then you can extract the file in the Download section only, or wherever you want to. I will go with the Download. And then I have to click on OK. And the file extraction will now be started. So just wait for some time until all the files are being extracted. And then we can move with the next step. And once the files are being extracted, now you would be able to find the Windows 11 Ghost Inspector ISO over here. Okay, now you can bring up the Rufus software again. And here in the boot selection, you have to click on select. Now select the ISO that you have extracted. And then you have to click on open. Now once open, it will automatically detect all the information. And in the volume label, if you want to change it, then you can change it to like Ghost Inspector. And then finally you have to click on start now once you click on start it will take some time to create a bootable usb of this iso so again you will have to wait for some time 
and once the bootable usb will be created you will find that the usb icon will be changed and it says windows 11 ghost and this kind of amount has been taken from the iso okay now next what you have to do you need to decide that you need to install the ghost specter on your current windows 11 or you want to install on a new drive so if you want to install in a new drive and you don't want to lose your windows 11 so what you can do you can right click on the windows icon then you have to click on disk management now here you will find your c drive so if you want to install in the c drive only then you don't have to do anything but if you want to install on any other partition then you will have to create it so make a right click on the c drive click on shrink volume and here you have to enter the amount of space to shrink in mb so at least it's recommended that you should take around 25 to 30 gigabyte for a new partition where you will be installing the windows 11 ghost specter so enter the amount in mb here for 25 or 30 gigabyte whatever you want to take and then you have to click on shrink and now the unallocated space will be created so you can again make a right click on it choose new simple volume click on next 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 and in the volume label if you want to give a name then you can give a name like ghost and then click on next and finish so now you will see that a new partition has been installed so now it's all up to you either you can install in the c drive or in the f drive okay now next you have to restart the computer and start with the bio so that you can change the boot priority order so the next time when the computer starts it can boot with the bootable usb so restart the computer and then you have to press the bios key whichever it is on my end it's f10 because i'm using a virtual machine and once you come to the boot section then you have to go and choose the boot priority order and select the usb device and now if i hit the enter key and then finally you will be getting this kind of ghost inspector page now here at the bottom you will find the windows logo so click on the windows logo and the setup will be starting now now here you have to choose your language to install choose the time and currency format then click on next now here you will find different kind of addition different operating system so you can go with any one of them but the one that i would recommend you that is windows 11 pro super light se so this is the one that is recommended from my side but if you want to try any other one then you can try it once selected click on next accept the terms click on next now here you have to click on custom so here you will find all kind of your partition that you created so now it's all up to you as i said you have to decide that you want to install the ghost inspector on your current c drive where your windows 11 was being installed or windows 10 was being installed or if you want to create in a new partition then you have to select it so this is the one that we created so if you want to dual boot this computer and want to install the ghost inspector on a new partition then you can select this drive but if you want to install in your c drive only where your previous windows was being installed then you have to select your c drive so i don't want to go with a dual boot and i will be installing in the same drive where my windows 11 was being installed so what i can do i can delete this drive because i created to show you that how exactly you have to install it so what i can do i can delete it click on ok and then i can click on my drive click on extend so i have the full space now for my c drive now okay now there are two more options here like you can see that 31.1 gigabyte is already been occupied so if you want to delete the data of the previous windows then you don't have to format or delete this c drive but if you want to delete everything that you had on your windows 11 or windows 10 or any previous windows then you can delete or format this drive i want to keep my data so i won't delete it so simply i will select it and click on next and now it says if the partition you have chosen contain file from a previous windows installation this file and folder will be moved to a folder name windows.old so what will happen the next time when the ghost inspector will be installed in your c drive you will find a new folder by the name windows.old that will contain all your files your videos pictures and data that you had in the c drive okay so you have to click on ok and now the installation will be started so it will take some time not much time so you have to wait and then i will let you know what you have to do next so once the installation will be completed you will be getting the same ghost inspector screen and then it will be automatically getting restarted so wait until it gets restarted
And now you will be coming to the next screen that says customize setting and it will be asking for the password. So type your desired password for the ghost inspector. Then retype the password. And then you have to click on finish. All right. So now you can see the login page of the ghost inspector and it seems a little bit different than compared to Windows 11. So now you have to enter your password that you created. And now it will be applying all the changes, preparing the windows. So just wait for a few more seconds and it will be all done. Bingo. So now you can see we are on the Ghost Spectre desktop. And the very first time you might be getting a message. Do you want the speed monitor toolbar on your taskbar? So if you want the net speed, the internet monitor toolbar, then you can select yes. I don't want it. So I will click on no. Okay, so once we are on the desktop, now let's see that how exactly it's different from Windows 11 and how it's better than Windows 11. So first I will bring up the task manager. I will right click on the Windows icon and click on task manager. And here if I go to the performance, so now here in the utilization you can see now it's below 5%, that is 2%, 3%, that is the very low utilization. And if you have a look in the processes, in Windows 11 it was around 100, now it's around 86 the thread that was around 1500 it's only 1000 and handle that was around 60000 now it's only reduced to 27000 if you look over the memory usage so on windows 11 it's around 32 33% but now it's only 14% okay so that's a big change now if i close it and now if i talk about the features on the desktop you will find a new two icon over here the one is the cpu z that is a very popular tool to find out the CPU and the RAM information. So if you bring it up, this will list you all kind of detail about your CPU. And then when you go to the memory section, it will let you know what kind of size of your RAM is. And then when you click on the speedy, it will let you know about the memory slot, that how many slots are available and what kind of RAM has been used. Okay, a part of that, the big tool is the ghost toolbox. And if I double click on it, and this kind of dashboard will be coming up and it gives you a tons of features over here. And if you look on the very left in top, it says tweak, fixed, cleaner and other. So here, if you want to clean or clear event we will log, if you want to clear the update cache, if you want to use a ghost online activator, or if you want to disable the windows update, then you can also do that. So whichever feature you want to enjoy, there is a key, there is a number. You have to simply press that number and it will automatically do that work for you similarly on the right hand side you have the installer and if you want to install any kind of browser like firefox edge google chrome or any other or there are a few application as well so simply you have to press that number and it will automatically start that installation so there are many more things that you can check out from here it says highly recommended to install like visual c plus plus and DirectX. so it's recommended then i would also recommend you to go ahead and install it so let's see if I want to install the DirectX. So you can see there is a number 17. So from my keyboard, I will type 17. And now if I hit the enter key, so it will ask me online installer or offline installer. So it's all up to you if you want to go with offline or online. So let's say if I want to go with offline, let's see, I will type number two. And now if I hit the enter key, so the installation, the downloading will be started. Okay, so this is exactly this work. Now, if I go back to my desktop and make a right click on the desktop, so you will find a new feature over here, ghost mode. And here if I hover up to power option, so you get power saver, balanced, high performance, game turbo, dynamic boost. Similarly, you get the task manager, reduce memory option. So if you want to uh, reduce the memory, if you have a high memory usage problem, then you can fix it from here. Then you have the God mode option. So if I click on the God mode, so Godwood basically is a feature that allow you to list and access all the Windows 11 feature at one place so that you don't have to wonder for each and every feature by looking to different location. Okay, so you get all the option like BitLogger option. You get backup and restore option. There are many other options that you can access from one place only. All right, a part of that, again, if I go to the ghost mode, then there is also a ping test where you can ping Google, Cloudflare or any other custom DNS. You can also clean up the temporary file by making one single click. A part of that, there are many more options. If you make a right click on the taskbar and go to the properties, 
So you can customize your taskbar, your tray icon, the start menu from here only. For example, if you want to change the Windows logo to Windows 10, Windows 7, whichever you want to, so you can see the logo of the Windows will be changed. You can make the size bigger or smaller, the visual style you can change. And the same way, you can change the tray icon and the explorer and many more options. Okay, so this is the reason guys, you will love using this Ghost Spectre Windows 11 because it provides you tons of features and even there is a very low CPU and the RAM usage so that you can get the best performance. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video guys and let me know in the comment section that what do you think about this new Ghost 11 and if you have any kind of doubt, any question then also you can let me know in the comment section. Till then take care. Bye bye.